All right, folks, so here we are in the AWS console. And if you don't have an AWS account, I have another video on how to set that up. Uh, but once you do get all that set up, you should land it in the console here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to Simple Notification Service. And this little section is just gonna be a little bit about kind of what we're seeing in the default AWS console. So by default, if you've never created a topic before, this is the screen that you're gonna be faced with. And so this screen kind of talks about some of the other concepts that I was touching on in my previous video, just some of the features of this stuff. There's also some great documentation that you can take a look at. Uh, the developer guide is extremely, extremely thorough. Uh, if you're a developer using this and you want to know about the APIs that you need to be working with, the API reference is gonna be the place that you wanna go to. Uh, there's also some facts that tell you some common answers to some common questions that people face. And finally, if you're having a specific problem that you need help with, there's the AWS support forums that have both uh, public contributors and folks that actually work at AWS that'll be able to field questions and help you solve of your problem. Uh, so that's a little bit about what we're seeing here. And we can also tell that there's some very, very serious players in terms of use cases. So here we're seeing uh, this NASA use case where they're using it uh, to provide easy access to thousands of images and audio recordings. Uh, some really cool stuff that gets built with this. Uh, so I'm not going to dwell on this too much. Uh, let's head over back to the top now. So if this is your first time, this is obviously going to be the screen that you're going to be faced. So what you want to do to see the more default screen is click on this left guy over here. Uh, again, I'm going to do that again, just these three little horizontal lines, and that's going to bring you to the kind of default navigation menu. Uh, so there's a couple main concepts that we need to go over here. Uh, so there's three pieces that we see at the top, and then we have kind of a mobile separation. Uh, so we have the dashboard that just kind of gives you a breakdown of all the topics that you've set up on your SNS account. Now, this is going to be pretty high level, so it's not going to tell you all about a lot of the details, just kind of summary information about what you have on your account with regards to SNS. If you go to the topics section, that's where you're going to find, you know, as you would expect topics. So you'll be able to see all the different themes that you have associated with your account. Uh, so in the example that we were talking about before, we were talking about that customer order concept. That's where that topic would live if we clicked on this guy. And third, finally, we're going to have the subscription sections, which are going to tell you all the details of the variety of different consumers that you have that are receiving messages from the topic. Now, they've kind of partitioned this off into a mobile section because it's kind of different. Um, so like I was mentioning in the previous video, there's this concept of application to person. And this takes a little bit of special setup in SNS, which is why they're giving you these separate navigation options here and these separate sections that are dedicated to just application to person concepts. Now we're gonna go into this a little bit later in a future section, but I just wanted to kind of lay out what the home screen looks like, what to expect in terms of using SNS. 